tonight in a special making history. We're digging into the current phase of growth in downtown Chattanooga. We have seen a transformation downtown over the last 30 years from the aquarium, the Riverwalk, the innovation district that's now bringing in jobs and many things in between. Since 2013, there's a big increase in the number of places to live throughout downtown. We sat down with Kim White from the River City Company to talk about how all this happened and the planning behind it. If you drive through downtown Chattanooga, there is growth just about everywhere you look. New places to live are being built. Some examples include this building on Chestnut is expected to have more than 200 units. And farther down Chestnut, this building will have more than 100 units. The buildings that have been completed, such as this one on East Main and here on Market Street and many more. It really is phenomenal. I think, you know, we've been behind the curve so long with the need for housing and to have all this occur right now, you know, we're right at about a billion dollars of private investment downtown. The River City Company has commissioned studies in recent years that show a need for more downtown housing. In 2014, RCL Co conducted a downtown Chattanooga market study that showed, among other things, 2,300 apartment units could be filled immediately, with that number growing by at least a couple of hundred for the foreseeable future. And the student housing need was even higher than that number. Is that we've spent 30 years building a great downtown, and people now want to be part of it, and it has taken a while to see that. Over the last four years, more than 3,000 apartment units are in some phase of being built. That is brand new buildings and older structures such as the First Tennessee Building and McClellan Building that are adding new housing. There are close to 1,800 condos, townhomes, and student beds also being added to the downtown area. We're attracting a lot of people from out of town that have chosen Chattanooga because of the downtown and quality of life. And up until now, there hasn't been places for them to live, so they've lived out in the suburbs. Uh, we have people that um, live in the suburbs now that have chosen to come back, and we're keeping more of our college students here too. So people that have come to Chattanooga to be in school, uh, this is where they choose to live. What I think is interesting, we also have a lot of retirees. So even though you think about it, retirees and condos, some are choosing apartments and they are keeping their house somewhere else. So it's a great mix and you walk through downtown and you can see that diversity. River City worked with the city and county on incentives for developers so that 250 of the units will be priced in the $800 per month range. The more expensive units will cost $1,500 or more depending on the size. Kim White says that right now only about 3% of the downtown workforce lives downtown. She says the goal is to get to 10%. That would put Chattanooga more in line with other southern cities such as Asheville and Charleston. So I think it really um, validates the work that has been done for the past 30 years to say you build a great city and you're going to attract all kinds of people that want to be part of it. And right now, River City and other folks are working to improve parking downtown and coming soon on Making History. We're going to discuss how River City's role in the city has changed over the last several years. Making History airs every other Thursday at 6 on News Channel 9 and first at 10 on Fox Chattanooga.